As an actor, you don't often interact with storytelling that is this vibrant, that is this interesting. And it's a great privilege, obviously, to work with these incredible creators and collaborators and storytellers. I spend a lot of time thinking about what this character does for a living. Hey, that's where the professor sits. I am the professor. Where they live. Hi, Hi. <laughs> welcome to Brooklyn. What that character's uniform looks like, that gives you other clues as to who they are. On any given day, the degrees or the boundaries upon which you create that character can shift and change. If they're in a moment where they're making love to someone or where they're in a cat suit on Halloween, I'm getting my little Eartha kid on. You try to create genuine moments where the character discovers something new. Andre, don't make this miracle of us finding each other not enough. Those are the moments that the audience either empathizes or recognizes themselves in that character, which is what you want. Music is probably the most important tool that I use in creating character. If I am working on the material, I'll often listen to what I feel like the character might be feeling or going through in the episode. Usually it locks me into the space of firing my imagination. I reach out to Michael Patrick King and just a look or a word or a joke that he makes actually locks me right back into where I need to be. And the actors on the show are so giving and generous. What do you say, Carrie? Do we show this newbie the ropes? Really? Yeah. yeah, sure, I'm in. Hey. One of the things I've taken from Naya is her ability to move on. Do you know anybody who wants to buy six or eight? Guitar's cheap. I'm having a going out of Andre sale. And she strides with great confidence into the future. And you'll see that this season. Good morning. That's one of the things that I've learned from Naya.